Constructivism in Education It is important to understand how teachers can apply constructivism inside their classroom to create a unique learning environment for students. In constructivist classrooms, the teacher has a role to create a collaborative environment where students are actively involved in their own learning. Teachers are more viewed as facilitators of learning than actual instructors. That is why teachers must work to understand the pre-existing conceptions and understanding of students and then work to incorporate knowledge within those areas. In constructivist classrooms, teachers will also need to adjust their teaching to match the learner's level of understanding. The constructivist classroom relies mainly on four key areas for it to be successful. First, shared knowledge between teachers and students. Second, shared authority between teachers and students. Third, teachers act as a guide or facilitator. And fourth, learning groups consist of a small number of students. Constructivist classrooms are often very different from normal classrooms in many ways. This is because constructivist classrooms focus more on student questions and interests. Here, a constructivism classroom builds on what students already know and focuses on interactive learning. A constructivist classroom is also student-centered, where teachers have a dialogue with students to help them construct their own knowledge. Constructivist classrooms, therefore, often have teachers who do small group work, collaborative and interactive activities, and open dialogues about what students need in order to find success. As we can see, in a constructivist classroom, teachers create situations in which the students will question their own and each other's assumptions. In a similar way, a constructivist teacher creates situations in which he or she is able to challenge the assumptions upon which traditional teaching and learning are based. Educational theorists believe that, at the constructivist level of knowing and thinking, students continually re-evaluate their assumptions about knowledge, their attitude towards the expert is transformed, Students are not troubled by ambiguity, but are enticed by complexity. And students take on a never-ending quest for truth and learning, where truth is seen as a process of construction in which the knower participates. For this reason, a constructivist teacher's perception of expertise in the classroom is based on the experience of his or her students in interaction with each other and with their teacher. Some education scholars believe that holding a constructivist view of knowledge enables a teacher to explore and form new ideas about teaching and learning. This explains why in a constructivist classroom, teachers are viewed as individuals who are often drawn into teaching by a love of kids.